Normally I do my makeup in my room, but I am just too lazy to clear off my desk this morning. So I already got this packed up because I was home this weekend, which is perfect. Well, it's Tuesday. I've got work today, like all day. It's been pretty quiet at work lately, so I'm going to get some work done. For my classes, I've got a paper due tomorrow that I need to finish. I'm about two pages short of the word count right now, which honestly is very doable. I can totally do that. Okay, I can totally do that. If you have any concealer recommendations that would make it look like I sleep, please hit me up in the comments. Pro tip if you're lazy, I bought this liquid highlighter and I just put it on my eyes as like eyeshadow and look how cute that looks. look so much bigger when I have eyeliner on and I'm still not used to it. It is so beautiful and sunny out right now. I'm kind of sad that I'm spending like the entire day inside. On the bright side, when I have my two hour break, I can go sit by the water, get some work done, read and write and stuff. I am just off to work. Usually I'll stop at Dunkin, but I prepared yesterday and I made cold brew coffee, which is literally just putting stuff into a french press and putting it in the fridge overnight. I got this blueberry coffee that is like so good and then I, I'm trying to try out different alternatives for milk because I love almond milk, but I know that almonds are really bad for the environment because it takes so much water to grow and they're grown, a lot of them are grown in California where there's a drought, so then like the farms are taking away the water and making it more expensive for everyone else. And that's just not fair, so I'm out here, lads. Anyways, I'll see you when I'm at work. I was stressed trying to find my flip flops this morning and they were in my car the whole time. Love that. Hey yo, so no one really swims that often in the morning here. So my current plan is that I'm gonna French braid or Dutch braid my hair and watch a video on Netflix and then after that I will set up a little work area and work on my papers. Hello, my hair is back at least. I'm gonna let under eye visor so fast. I love that. Yeah, I'm just writing my essay. I've got a little setup going. Boy gee, I don't want to do this, but it's due tomorrow at noon and I'm at work all day today and I'm at work at noon tomorrow, so that means I have to submit it tonight. Lovely. So I stopped working on my essay. I'm really excited because on Thursday I get to see my apartment for the first time and I'm definitely gonna do a video of like me moving in and everything so I'll probably get some clips. I think they're still renovating it but I'm really excited. I'm only living with one person and not six other people which I am very excited about. And yeah, so I'm gonna go see it on Thursday. <clears throat> so I've been kind of doing some planning of how I'm gonna lay things out in my room because I am so excited to move. Yeah. I am literally so bored right now. I really don't feel like working on my essay because my brain is not functional. I just realized I didn't eat breakfast. I'm gonna go for lunch at this like really cute place. It's kind of like a knockoff Chipotle. It's called Salsa Fresca, but there's no Chipotles in Poughkeepsie because the city is awful. I miss Rochester. I've got half an hour until my break and then I'll probably change, go clock out, and off to Salsa Fresca I'll go. I've been in the habit of sitting in my car to eat lunch lately because I have this really gorgeous view down here. So I'll probably just like sit in my car, watch a movie. That's what I've been doing. As per usual, literally no one swims, so I'm gonna lock up and head out. boiling out right now like I'm dying this is what I want but not like this so I'm gonna go get gas because I'm almost out of gas and then I'm gonna get food the bag has been secured I got my burrito bowl so now I'm just 
I'm gonna literally sit in my car and have my lunch and watch a bad movie on Netflix that I've been watching while I was at work. They gave me different spicy sauce than they gave me last time and I'm like literally dying. I already finished my drink and all I have is this really warm water. So I'm dying. All right, it's way too hot for me to keep sitting out here. Beyonce finally put lemonade on Spotify and I am having a good time. There's still no one swimming. I've been on shift for like 25 minutes. So I'm gonna try to do some work, I think. Cause I really don't feel like having to write my paper later. I don't write it now and I have to write it later. Love it. First person swimming all day. And of course there's this ginormous fucking loft. And so I had to like, it was like crawling on my laptop, which is here because I was doing work when you walked in. And it was just crawling on my laptop and I had to like get the clipboard and kill it. Now I have to like dispose of its corpse. I think I hate it. Cause I was so disgusting. I hate bugs. Yeah. Now that that is over, I'm going to go back to doing work. This woke me up a little bit. I was getting kind of drowsy, but nothing wakes you up like the biggest fucking wasp you've seen in a while, so. I'm literally so happy right now. So I applied to be like a, a fellow at this place called Getaway. That's like these little cabins that are like up a little ways from where I live. And it's these like beautiful little cabins with these like gorgeous views of nature. And I just got an artist fellowship with them. So basically I get to go and stay there for free. And all I have to do is like write a poem for them. So I just have to write a poem for them. Like I basically just got commissioned to write a poem. I literally am like so happy. This is what happens when you hate driving with shoes on. I'm honestly like, the last week in therapy, I told my therapist obviously that I got my TA shift. It's really competitive this year and I'm like really, really happy and honored that I get to teach kids in the fall. I'm literally so excited to teach the freshmen. And the fact that I also got this fellowship is literally insane. And I am like so grateful and honored that I am getting all the opportunities that I am getting. And I really am so happy that my hard work is paying off. Last week, my therapist was like, you need to know that at some time you're gonna apply for something and you're not gonna get it. And I was like, yeah, I know that, I know that. And like logically I do know that, but I just feel like right now I am working really, really hard and pushing myself a lot and it's paying off. And I'm really, really hoping that I can keep up how hard I'm working and not have something bad happen because I have this weird paranoia that since everything is going so well, something really bad is gonna happen. Like I always have this paranoia that I'm gonna be in some weird freak accident because me doing well messes with my like karmic ability to have good times. And I know that that's an anxiety thing. Like anything is possible anytime. I could get in a freak accident. I could get fucking murdered, whatever. That can happen anytime. But I'm trying to not live my life like I'm planning as if that's going to happen, which is something that for years really, really held me back was just the fear of something out of my control happening. And I've realized that all that I can control is myself and my own actions and how I respond to things and how I handle things. So anyways, this is a really long rambling rant about how I am grateful for this opportunity and I'm gonna make a vlog about me getting away. I just got home, but I really want sushi, so I'm gonna go to Tops and buy sushi. And then I can get cash back so that I can get quarters so that I can do laundry, which is great. Love that. I really wanted to go to my favorite Mexican place for dinner, but literally all of my friends are busy and I don't feel like getting takeout. So I'll probably go there for takeout like tomorrow or something. Nope, just kidding, it's closed on Wednesdays. Well, I'll go sometime this week. I go to Mexican Kitchen a lot. One of the waiters used to hit on me like every time I went in and like give me free stuff. Like the free stuff was cool. The hitting on me was not so cool mm -hmm. because I am a raging lesbian. But all right, I just got home from Tops. Sushi was secured. I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos and eat. And then I have DA at eight. So I'm just gonna chill until then. I was gonna take a nap, but I don't have time to because I got sushi. It'd be like that sometimes. 
I am so tired right now. So like I have DA in 45 minutes, but it's optional because I'm not on eboard anymore. So I said a lot of things at 45, the club meetings at eight. And we'll see if I get up. It's doubtful. Good night for now. Two hours later. I slept through DA. It's 9.15 now. I am literally so exhausted. I'm gonna get up and go downstairs, have some water, and try to do some work on this paper. Fuck, I'm so tired. Fucking hell. I probably have four more, three more words to write, which is like nothing. <sighs> it's just another page. It's just another page. Just one more page. Gotta go buy some kombucha. You can't tell I'm wearing pants, but I am. Slow down. They don't love you like I love you. All right, so I'm like a hundred words away from finishing my essay or like getting work out on it So I can definitely do that in the morning at work. No one ever swims knock on wood. So I should be able to finish it before Nanny get it all submitted and all that jazz. But yeah, thank you for watching this vlog. I'm not going to do a long outro because I talked a lot in this video. And thank you so much for watching. I'm feeling really good at the end of this day. If you watched to this point in the video, comment down below. About your dog. Oh yeah, tell me about your dog or your old dog, or your cat, or any animal that you have. It's not relevant to this video at all, but I just love animals, so. I'm tired, it's late, I have to get up at 8. Goodbye.